And with that, welcome to a new Let's Play. Uh, this time I'm playing In Vervis Virtus, um, a game I have been waiting for about two years, I guess. Uh, I first got uh, or found this game on Steam uh, when it was pre-Greenlight, I guess. And it looked interesting because the core cool game mechanic of this, uh, I think, more or less puzzle adventure game is you cast your own spells by pronouncing them. So yeah, I thought this would be a nice thing to do a, an actual let's play of. And how I'm gonna do, uh, or how I will do this is I will pre-record all the episodes and um, if I release it, uh, meaning if I play it to the end because I like it, um, there will be a review at uh, the end of the last episode um, where I, well, more or less rate the game or um, share my experiences of the game with you. So, without further ado, um, I already took care of all the settings. Let's dive into a new game of Inverbis Virtus. And I will take the uh, additional hints, um, because I've never played this before and, well, uh, I don't want to get stuck, like, hours and hours on end. With this, we start our, our adventure, I guess. So, yep, loading screen. Oh, we aren't dead. That's a good thing. And we are still in front of this mountain hill. Oh, and I can look around. Nice. Okay, move the mouse or gamepad right to look around. WASD. Alright, so the controls are pretty simple. Uh, I looked them up beforehand. We got WASD, uh, left shift for run, spacebar for jump, left mouse button to pronounce a formula, and the right mouse button to end a certain spell. Uh, examining inscription is E, look around, and journal. Well, yeah, that will work. So, uh, let's see where we actually are. Um, yeah, we can look around. Middle mouse button. Oh, that that's cool. So I can uh, point my mouse like here-ish. And now I press middle mouse button, look around, and if I release it, it will go back there. So, oh, I don't know if we will need it uh, for anything in particular, but, well, let's see. I like the graphics. Um, very bright, but yeah, very nicely done with this canyon. And is that a planetoid? Hmm, it sure looks like it. So maybe we are on a moon? Hmm. Ah, maybe we'll find out. Okay. So this is jumping. This is running. Okay. Seems to work. Uh-huh. And we got, I think, a health bar in the upper right corner of the screen. Uh, I can't click uh, something. 
Oh, hold left shift while moving forward to run. Oh. I thought it would uh, break the boulder and I would get followed, but apparently not. Hmm. Ancient relics and, well, um, this looks a lot like the, um, what's it called, uh, Petra in uh, jo Jordania. Uh, you can actually see it in the la in the last proper Indiana Jones movie, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Um, yeah, this looks a lot like Petra. Anyways, um, I can examine inscriptions with E, but ah, nothing here, apparently. Uh, this is a column as well, so yeah, let's go in and see what it has in store for us. Ooh. Well. Um, I think the noises are a bit silent. I fiddled around with it because um, the music was very loud in the main menu, so I'll boost it up a notch and hopefully it's alright. So, let's see. To examine an inscription, look at it closely and press E or gamepad X. I press E. Ah! Ooh. Wow! Um, well, that was certainly a little bit unexpected. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I guess we have to activate all of those, right? Uh, we... Oh! Okay, I didn't lose any health. So that's something. Hmm... Next inscription. I have no idea what that m uh, those mean, but... I guess we have to activate all of these uh, to open that gate. So, well, pretty simple, I guess for now. <laughs> oh, and this looks like it's gonna be some parkour? Well, hopefully not. And open sesame. Your journal has updated. Let's look in the journal. The Mahaki language. I spent years studying the idiom known as Mahaki, which means the language of the creative deities. Yet I had only scratched the surface. Although I had examined numerous artifacts that reported scriptures in this language, coming from places even very far from each other, I was able to interpret, interpret only a few fragments. Now in the entrance hall of this temple, whose existence was not even a certainty, something happened. Now I have a total understanding of the Mahaki. In the past I did not believe in the legends, but there is power in these written characters. Okay, so... Just by looking at these, um, he, or we learned the entire language. Wow, not bad. Uh, I wish I could do that with stuff. Okay. Oh, and now we are trapped. Hmm. Some sorts of crystals? Bringing some light in here. Hmm. And... Different colors ahead of us. Stand in the circle of remembrance to save the game. Ooh. Circle of remembrance. And we can create a new save file. Okay, and we call it pasta, of, co of course. Alright, we have saved the game, and well, I, th I would guess this is some sort of map, so where could we, could we be right now? Um, yeah. Is there some sort of door? Um, boom, 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 maybe this? 
Hmm. Or maybe uh, this one here. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, oh. What is that? Hmm. Ooh. Crystal in the ceiling. Giving out rainbow rays. Um, and we are in some sort of very small room, like, like this. Uh, but, hmm. Oh, what? What? Wow. Yeah, the game tends to st stuck a bit uh, every now and then, and I have no idea why. Okay, um, well, let's just venture forth. Hmm. Okay, just regular mushrooms. Can't do anything with those. Nope. Huh. Oh. Um. Now we can go two ways. Well, bummer. And. We don't cast a shadow, so uh, a, a a reflection, I mean. So, well, we are a vampire, everybody. We are a vampire. Oh well. Yeah, let's follow this. Oh. I hear noises in this direction, and I don't like these. And I still have to boost the audio a bit. Ah, uh, let's boost it by another 10%. Ah. Hmm, I think there has to be some sort of spell to open this. And now... Oh! Ooh, shiny. Hmm. Oh, but it doesn't really do anything now, does it? Um, yeah, before going in that direction... Oh. Nope, nothing here. So let's let's go in this direction. That looks kind of promising. Wow. The fires are very bright, to be honest. Oh, some sort of chamber. Oh. Oh. Yep, some sort of chamber. And books. Hmm. I would guess... We... Can't we do something with that? We are some sort of adventurer, aren't we? So... Why... Can't we do anything with these? Hmm... Something made... Bing... Ah... And it seems I can't go here... Huh... Ah! Oh, Genesis 1. In the beginning there was chaos. With the passing of the eras, chaos aggregated into a single physical mass. Other eons passed, and the agglomeration took on a conscience. In each moment of its existence it would scrutinize the enti entire infinite space, and so for a time it was immense. Then it saw in the universe the birth of something that remotely reminded it of itself. An intelligent life was born, and that was followed by many others, the same but different, all sharing the ability to consciously change the world that surrounded them. So its attention shifted from observing endlessly the birth of powerless pieces of the universe to prying greedily into the lives of these beings. But one day something disturbing happened. These living entities began to worship something undefined uh, that they had never seen, heard or perceived, which was in their opinion omnis omniscient and omnipotent. The names attributed by them were the most di diverse, but it was obvious to Chaos that the being was himself, since there was nobody else in the infinite remotely comparable to him. Hmm. Okay. Click on a formula to listen to it. Um, yeah, we don't have a formula yet. 
Well, we read Genesis 1, and yeah, uh, no formula for us, but, ah, interesting, so, chaos, ah, that, okay, uh, our mice playing tricks on me, I thought I saw the blue thingy, nope, no blue thingy, right, uh, let's, wow, well, uh, <laughs> let's try another direction now, shall we? Okay, so... Let's try this direction then. Oh, man, there's, those fires are so Im immensely bright. Wow. Can't even start to comprehend. Any... Wow! Um, well, I guess this could be some sort of formula. Yep, made Bing again. Um, ooh, many, many mushrooms. Many, many mushrooms. Oh. So, four symbols on this side. Eight symbols on that. So, I guess we can learn both. Let's try. Let's try it out. Light. The light is not enemy of darkness. Quite the contrary, it is its complementary, a sister praised too much in the past. The world is based on this lie, the belief that the light necessarily represents the good that is opposed to the shadows and bans them. The balance between the two has always been in favor of blazing bright part of the creation, but no one has ever realized the importance of equality between them. Light and shadow are the same entity, the same essence pervading the cosmos. When one of the two prevails, change is inevitable. Nothing remains equal to itself over time, and the meta metamorphosis does not always lead to the order or chaos. I can feel it, the dazzling power of light coming out of my hand, an absolute sense of the grace radiated from my hand after I said Lume Tial for the first time, and darkness knelt before me. Light. So, um, click on a formula to listen to it. Lume Tial. Lume Tial. Well, uh, that will be interesting. Lume Tial. Lume Tial. All right, um, well, let's learn the spell. Its formula has been noted in your journal. To cast a spell, press and hold left mouse button or gamepad right trigger, pronounce the formula, then release the button. To end the spell, press right mouse button or gamepad left trigger. So, um, well, let's try that. Lume Tial. Well, that uh, certainly did nothing. Lume Tial. Bummer. Um, no, not that. Lume Tial. Lume Tial. Woo! Fly me! That was certainly interesting. Okay, let's try the other one on the other side. So, um, since that was light and it told us something uh, of the equality between those two, I guess this will be darkness. Let's see. Oh no, beyond darkness. One of the first lessons to pilgrims was the evo evocation of light. This to remind them that uh, first of all they must be the bearers of truth and illuminate where darkness hides the created with falsity. Okay, we just have the Lumetial beyond darkness. Okay, so... We can cast one particular spell now, and I think the, the the iron bars we saw earlier might be open with those. So let's try the spell again. Lume Tial. <laughs> it works. Ah, uh, that's just ah uh, awesome. That is really really awesome. Oh man, this will be fun. Okay, so um. Yeah, let's try to open that gate. Lume Tial. Well, 
Um, that did nothing. All right. Um, on to another cave. Uh, we went that way, but not this way. So, yeah, let's try that. Well, it's it's dark, all right. Lume Tial. Lume Tial. Got us from that. Lume Tial. Well, um, that did nothing. Lume Tial. Um, it, it, it's, <coughs> yikes, um, ooh. where the hell am I? Ah, right here. Alright, so, I guess there is a, an abyss right here, so, well, uh, we have to try another path. Hmm. Right, uh, yeah, we came from here, so I think the way split earlier. Um, and there was the map. I certainly want to take a look at the. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, this is the the map room. Um, yeah, let's let's save the game. That's that's certainly a good idea. And let's save the game right here. Yes, I want to save the game. Thank you very much. And let's look at the map again. So, um... Lume Tial. Ooh! It, it made bonk. Lume Tial. Ah. Wow. So... I would guess that this was the light room. Maybe. Oh, or maybe this? Yeah, maybe this and uh, I don't know. We have the mushroom room, <laughs> the mushroom room, room room. Uh, I still don't have any idea where we actually are. Um, it has to be a spot or something. No, oh no, we are we are here. Um, we go this way, uh, then it parts, here we have the abyss, I, I'll call it. Um, this will, would be the iron bars we can't get through now. Um, this being the, well, the, the light chamber, maybe? And this the other chamber, so, um, yeah, I think that's it. Anyways, uh, since uh, we played for quite some time right now, um, and I don't want to get uh, let the episode get too long. I want to say thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the first episode of this. Um, it's it's very promising, and I think you will see the whole thing. And if you want to see that, um, yeah, then stay tuned for more. So thanks so much for watching. I certainly hope to see you next time. So until then, yours faithfully, the best of Arian.